Okay folks, we are going to take a look at plastic waste and the medical field. I have the privilege of working firsthand in a medical office and so I firsthand am able to see just how great the role that plastic plays in clinics is. In terms of the medical field, what exactly is the issue with regards to plastic? The medical industry as we know began for the best interest of the population and its well-being. We're looking for the health of the individual. But as with all businesses, the medical industry followed suit and became about the bottom dollar. No longer was the individual the priority, but rather what they could pay. In the world today, of course, plastic is cheap. It became the leading tool in clinics and hospitals looking for the bottom dollar. Within just 30 years, the production of plastic in the U.S. has gone up 10.3%. Most of the plastic market is due to the demand of packaging, building, and construction throughout the U.S. In terms of the medical field, we're going to focus on the packaging portion. Plastic has become the go-to product for just about anything and everything. Because it's cheap and effective, however, it's also most of the waste that we see exported from the United States. Now how exactly is this affecting us? Or sustainability really? Plastics used in clinics and hospitals have become heavily reliant on the shipments of overseas products which then trickle into the subject of oil reserves and overseas imports and exports. So we see plastic not only affecting a portion of the sustainability issues that we're seeing today, but it's having a massive effect on deeper issues. Not to mention that about 90% of medical waste is plastic that ends up as waste in the very countries from where they are shipped. So we see this wastefulness come full circle. And because the bottom dollar has become more important than the lack of sustainability in the medical field, no one is stepping up and taking responsibility for the harmful effects that this is all placing on the planet. An industry that was once intended to help the health of all is ironically slowly creating a planet that is deteriorating. So who do we look to for answers? Who are the leaders? Who are the visionaries? Unfortunately, there's a complete disregard in the medical field with turning a blind eye to the amount of waste that is produced. Even in a single day, as my hands-on research revealed, the clinic in which I work produced more than 500 individual plastic wrappers a week. That's always produced from material covering the actual products used in clinics and hospitals. So not only is plastic prevalent in the actual materials used for healthcare, but most of the waste coming out of hospitals and clinics are just wrappings protecting the sanitation of the materials used in the healthcare field. In terms of sustainability, this is very, very low on the efficacy scale. And of course, those with the most power to make a change and undo the damage plastic has made in the medical field choose not to. And unfortunately, this seems to always be because of the bottom dollar. However, there is a bit of hope in sight. There are new technologies that are allowing the medical field some sort of hope. Of course, the best solution for this issue is a greater stand against plastics and their dominance in the medical field, but new technologies have given the industry new hope. Technologies like air presser syringes that eliminate the use of needles and are reusable as well as sanitary, and new plastics that require less polymer and chemical treatment. There seems to be a bit of hope for the route that the medical field is taking with regards to sustainability. And of course, these are only the building blocks. We can only hope that as we begin to see plastics become more and more of an issue, that more people will take a lead in creating these new technologies. 
as with most topics on sustainability, the great strides that must be made require more than action from those with power, but rather action from all of us who share this planet. Knowledge, of course, is half the battle, but the other half is what we make of the knowledge that we have. Thank you.